Hi guys, and happy graduation Saturday. I thought I'd get on real quick. Um, got a lot of stuff done yesterday. And even though Deidre's having a virtual uh, graduation today, I got the stuff done that I wanted to before I take a trip home tomorrow to Iowa. Yay for the day to be able to see my family. So I wanted to show you, this is the last example I have that I'm going to do for my open house next Saturday. So it's using one of our new sets for the annual catalog. So let me go ahead and get that stuff out and show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is from the new annual catalog. It's called All Squared Away. It has some really good little sayings on it. And of course, your uh, blocks you choose for background, but you also have these amazing dies. So you have the four here. Let me bring that down a little bit, sorry. The four here, as well as these extra flower pieces. Okay, so I'm gonna show you really quickly how to do that. Um, as you can see, I have it all set up, ready to go. So hopefully I'm not missing a lot of things while I'm stamping today. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is, these are from last week when I did the alcohol. Um, and so I have them all mounted and they're a little sticky. Have them all mounted on white cardstock. So I'm gonna pick one of these to use as my background. Now I'm gonna save some of the more colorful ones for, I might use that one. Like these I'm gonna save for the open house because I don't want the ladies to have to mess with the alcohol-based. Uh, markers and the mess and the drying time. So I have some all ready for them. So I think maybe some of these that I use the eyedropper on, I'm going to use today versus the ones I use the Fantastic with. Um, and I can't tell if that one, that one feels like it's a double. See, that's the only top there. Yeah, so we'll keep those for next week. And I think I'm going to use... Mmm, such a hard decision. All right, I'm going to use this one today. All right, so let's go ahead and put these off to the side. Let me go ahead and get out uh, the pieces from here. So this is the Fresh Freesia, which is one of the new in colors. And this, of course, is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to fold it in half. This is the Evening Evergreen. And this is four and one eighth squared because those these squares here are two inches, so that gives you a little bit of an overhang. All right, and I think that's all I need. Yeah, the rest the rest is all die cuts. So let me go ahead and get out my squares. So these are two inch. Yes two inches they're going to barely fit once you cut them out they're going to leave you like that much of a frame which i'm going to figure out a card for that too yes because you know no waste no want no want no waste i don't know so i have the squares here in the polished pink the fresh freesia oh my gosh i'm talking really loud sorry the pale papaya and the soft succulent. All right. Now, if you're going to do this, I would suggest that you have a little bit bigger squares. But since I'm um, doing this for the open house, I wanted to have everything pre-cut. And if it proves to be too difficult to do it here, then I will go ahead and I will... Um, Cut a little bigger squares for the ladies for next week. All right, let me zoom in a little bit so you can see. There we go. As we're creating this. All right. So first we're going to take my fresh freesia. Fold that in half. Go ahead and fold it. And let me see, where's my bone folder? I have a lot of the stuff packed up ready for next week. All right, so there's the fresh freesia. That's going to go off to the side. This is already cut, and this will, when we arrange our squares on there, that, and then we'll cut this. All right, so let's take out our baby. 
and our plates. So I have for the baby, remember, you don't use a plate two, you use one, and then you use two of the cutting mats. And it's all listed right there. I, I don't know if it's upside down or not. Okay, and let's get out my, my dies. Oh, I don't have my magnetic thing. All right, whenever I take out more than one die, I usually have my little magnetic tray here so I can put them down there. I'm not gonna do any of these little extras today. Um, just feel like, oops, I'm too far over. I'm not gonna use any of these extras today just because um, this is gonna be for the open house. I want it to be a little bit quick. All right, so let's go ahead and I think I'm going to stand up for this just so I can see pretty good and make sure you're still in frame. All right, so see how that is? It just barely fits on there. So put that on top. Excuse me while the desk moves a little bit. Oh my gosh, this is awkward to have it on the other side. I should bring it closer to me. All right, let me bring that around this way. There you go. Sorry if anyone gets motion sickness. That was a little close. Let me let me bring it just a little further away. There we go. So then those all fall out, and there's that one. Let me put it right there. Let's take. Oh, I should kind of be watching to see which ones I want to do with which colors. Um, all right, since I've already... Let me put that over there. Since, let's use this one on that. And we'll go down. I'm really trying not to move the table too much, but it's not working. All right. So there's that. Look how cleanly those all cut. So excited. Very excited with the set. Now let me put the extra pieces over here in a little cup so I can throw them away all at once. Like I said, this is very exact. You can make the squares bigger, use your scraps, all that good stuff. So much fun. All right, that's a good square. I'll put it over here with the pile. Take off my little extras over there. And the last one. Oh my goodness. Pop drop that. Did you see that? All right. Let's do this one. And those all just fall away. How fun. How fun. Put those over there. Is that, yeah, that's all the cutting I'm doing. So let me close this up. Put it out of the way. Just for a second. All right. Now let's see. I'll come down a little bit more. All right. So now. Oh, that's just little too close. There we go. Make sure we're in the frame. There we go. So now I'm getting ready to use these. Now what I found for these is that I really like, I'm going to move just a little bit more. I want you to be able to see, but I don't want to be so far away that you can't see. All right. So let me get into my drawer here and get out my mini glue dots. For me, these are, this is the best, the best way to use this. All right. 
and I might have to put it on my readers just to see where that first one is. Okay, there we are. So on this, you can see, I'm going to try to figure out where I want. I kind of like incorporating that yellow. See the little yellow right there? So then, yeah, I think, I think I'm going to do it like this. So I like the little contrast there. I'm thinking I kind of like it like that. All right. So now I'm going to go ahead on the back side. You have a lot of good, you know, bigger spaces that you can put. Oh, on the back side of this. Hey, I kind of like that better. All right. So you have some bigger spaces here. And the other nice thing about it is you can always pick them up with your finger, roll them a little bit, and they can go, oops, sorry, roll them a little bit, and they can go on the underside there. All right. So let me go ahead and, because once you get the first one down, that kind of sets up your, your area for everything else. All right. So, you know what? I'm going to get my take your pick tool just because they're being a little difficult. And I'm not really sure if these are supposed to be like this. Maybe I have to rub it so they'll be stuck on this side. But I kind of like being able to see where they are on the other side. All right, so now I want to make sure I line this up. Oh, sorry. Am I getting my, my head in the way? I hope I'm not. All right. Let's go ahead. This is why I like the glue dots, because if you can see, they fit really good on all of this. And if you don't like it, you can, like I say, roll it up a little. They're very flexible. And then I think I'm going to put one more right there. I'm hoping I'm not getting these too far away. Because if so, I'll have to recut my evening evergreen layer. And you can always go in and put a little bit of glue, the multipurpose glue, underneath these corners if that bothers you. For me, it doesn't bother me that much. So let me go ahead and roll these up. Figure out later if that's the right way. All right, so now I have this. So now I'm gonna bring out, oh my goodness, my paper cutter. And what I like to do on this, so I have a very small layer is, if you see the edge of that through there, you're gonna cut right on it. So I like pushing this down and having it just barely so that I can't see it in this clear channel. And let's see how close that is. See, I like it. That looks good. So then I'm going to lift it up again. I'm going to put it there so I can see it, but then I'm going to move it where I can't see it anymore. It just kind of like disappears in that channel there. And that to me is a good, good, uh, layer. Then I'm going to push this down. I can see it. Now I can't. Oh my gosh, my husband's back already from his walk the dog. All right, I'm going to try to do this really quick because you know the dog barks. Anyone who's had watched one of my videos knows that when they get back, the dog knows to bark for a treat because my husband's trained him that way. Um, so he barks when they get back from the walk. He thinks he deserves a treat for taking a walk. All right, so I am going to trim that one down just a little bit more. Now, in this case, since I want to get really close, I'm going to bring out. Now, this you can't buy, but this was a um, sign-up 
promotion about last year about this time. I think so. Um, but the guillotine cutter works really good to get really close to that edge. I think I'm going to do that one just a little bit closer too. Just a little bit closer. So there you are. A little bit better. And I could have used my paper trimmer to do that, but it's just a little bit faster. So now, see how that is? It's beautiful. So now I'm going to bring in my... So I'm not going to do like any sort of background on this. I feel that layer with the alcohol markers and the um, alcohol markers and the rubbing alcohol gives enough of a background that we don't need to worry about that. And what I like about using the glue on this is you have a little bit of a wiggle room before you press it down. Okay. And now the good thing about still having this piece here is that you can take these three little flowers if you want to and run it through. So let me bring this back out again really quickly. And get my plate one, my two twos. And I think I want to do it. I might have to run this through a couple times to get a bunch of those flowers. Let me put my cutting mat down. Put those two through. Then I'm just going to move it over oh. moved it too much oh my goodness I'm really trying to hurry because I hear them coming in and Finn is not a good boy when he's waiting for his treat Everything my daughter and I spent on obedience class for the dog, my husband has ruined by not following the rules. So, um, we had a trained dog. Now we have an untrained dog again. Habits. Okay. Let me go ahead. Again, we'll put that off to the side. I'll leave it down just in case. And then I'm going to figure out which of the flowers I like. So what I like to do is I like to lay them against here just to see which I like the most with the coloring. All right. Oh, there's another one there. That one looks like it's all white though. Yep, that one's all white. All right. Let me go ahead. So we want to poke out all those circles. Okay, and again. Let me get down. I think I'm going to use just three on this one. Let me get those glue dots out again. And let's get my other take your pick tool that has the putty end. I like the way that one looks. So we're going to put that one down on a dot. I like the way that one looks. You need to pull out that hole though. And I like that one for the middle. Oops. All right. All right. So 
So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and stamp that greeting. This one, I think I'm going to use the happiest of birthdays to you. Let's go ahead and... Get that on a block over here. Look at this. All right. Get that on a block. Get out my memento. Have to get out my piercing mat because this is photopolymer, so you want the best you can. Looks pretty good. Oh, I have it a little crooked on there, so let me stamp it first to see how crooked it is. Of oh, not too bad. Now it will be bad. Watch. Not so bad. Okay, and then with your take your pick tool. I want the green in the middle, so I'm going to do that one. That one. Let me get it a little bit more like that. And that one. Now, because of that glue dot, there's going to be a little bit of a sticky there. But you know me. I'm a sucker for the basic rhinestones. So let's go ahead and grab those out. Uh, let's see. Put it right in the middle there. All right. Let me see how this looks. Get everything all situated here. So there is my original one with the five. Here's the one I did today. Tell me what you think of them. Leave me a comment. Give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please do. I love producing these videos, making these videos, just to share what I consider a good, you know, 10 to 15 to 20 minutes a day with people just to share my love of card making. Thanks a lot, guys, and have a great Saturday.